Hi everyone, this is going to be my show and tell demonstration on all transclusion number 8. Transclusion is the ability to include content from one file into another by reference. Org Transclusion is a package I've been developing. It lets you insert a copy of text content via a file link or ideal link within an org file. I have a previous demo uh, video demonstration and I'm going to put a link to the comment section of YouTube below and that uh, explains uh, a little bit more in depth how uh, it works. Uh, as a recap though, um, I'm going to show you um, how it works very quickly. Okay, so in front of us, uh, there's a um, org file. This is a demonstration file and it has a link. So this is agenda for today. And if I click on it, um, you know, this is the um, content I want to transclude. So the idea is to get the copy of this uh, plain list onto the, and paste it onto the left hand side. To do that, um, just let me just quickly show you. I'm just toggling uh, the, Link, yeah, so just a normal file link with a search um, option for the named playlist agenda, right? So what I want to do is just to put my pointer on it and then um, call org transclusion make from link. Yeah, and that's that's how uh, transclusion brings the copy over to my current buffer. Right, so uh, I want to talk about two things today. One is uh, minor breaking changes that have been introduced with the version, the current version, uh, 0.2.0. Um, and also I want to talk about new features. Okay, let's move on. Now, uh, minor breaking changes, there are two things. One is uh, a, a new command names and the second is uh, a different syntax. So new command names, uh, there's, there's a, just a quick table reference here, um, old and new. So essentially what I have done is uh, rationalized the source code uh, very heavily actually, and revamped everything, almost everything uh, of the source code and then changed the function names and stuff like that. And uh, you know, doing that, I also thought that I should rationalize the commands or the um, interactive functions. So, um, you know, the names are now shorter, right? Uh, essentially what I have done is take out add point. So uh, org transclusion add add point becomes uh, just add. Um, uh, uh, remove at point becomes remove, you know, the live sync start at point becomes just live sync and so on. And the second thing is uh, add all in buffer becomes uh, add all, just add all. And then remove add all, uh, remove all in buffer becomes remove all. So, you know, uh, at point and in buffer are just um, sort of implied in the function. So, you know, all transclusion itself is a very long prefix and I wanted to kind of rationalize this so that it's easier. Uh, for you, if you have got the key bindings defined for you, uh, you might need to review that and then change uh, your key bindings accordingly. I think that's probably uh, about it uh, for this change. Or, or if you've got uh, your own custom um, functions also, you need to adjust them accordingly. Right, that's uh, new command names. Moving on. So the second uh, breaking change is a new syntax. Again, I believe this is not going to cause a lot of headaches, but just to mention. So, um, sorry. In the past, or the pre up to the previous version, what we have had was uh, the transclude keyword needed the first value to be T or nil, indicating that T, this is active, so you can transclude it, and nil means it's inactive, so that you need you you you, uh, you can't uh, transclude it uh, by manual or uh, by um, add all in buffer function. Now it's all buffer, right? And um, add all function. Anyway, so what I've changed is just to remove this T nil. So if I do it, if I now transclude this first keyword by F12 and go back. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, um, backward compatibility. So you don't have to worry about uh, T and nil much because uh, all transclusion will translate that to canonical representation and remove and clear uh, T and nil according to the new syntax anyway. So uh, if I do nil, uh, nil doesn't have any uh, functional meaning. So you can still continue to 
um, transclude it. And then, you know, if you remove the transcluded uh, uh, region, uh, all transclusion just removes that T nil value. That's it. And instead of uh, having nil, um, I have introduced new property called disable auto. So what this does is if I call org transclusion at all, right? The idea is to transclude all of these three except for the ones with disable auto property. So I'm gonna just demonstrate it by calling it. Right? So the, the first two got transcluded but not the last one because because of this um, property. Now this property works or is applicable only to the um, auto um, transclusion. So if I just uh, manually type and activate um, org transclude add, right, F12 in my case, but manually you can override this uh, disable auto um, property. It only works for the uh, automatic transclusion by at all. Okay, so that's the uh, change to the syntax. Um, now let's move on to new features. So there's two, I guess, uh, sets of new features that I want to talk about. Well, um, sorry, uh, let me just uh, remove all of the transclusion. So that, da, da, da. Yeah, all transclusion, remove all. Okay, so I hope this is now easier. Now, so um, what I want to just show you is I have introduced two uh, different um, um, additional features. One is uh, I probably should start with exclude elements. Uh, sorry, the only so the first uh, um, additional filters additional filter is exclude elements, and the second one is only contents. I think I should probably start with uh, exclude content. So what I have in front of me is this uh, large source buffer. And as you can see, I think there's two subtrees underneath, right? And I think I'm interested in only the second one on denoting. And on the other, so let me just narrow it to show you what it looks like. Right, so it's got, um, it's a subtree with two, well, actually, uh, two um, subheadings, uh, level two, level three. So essentially, it's just one sort of, you know, big tree, right? And then um, what I want to do is if I just think, uh, transclude this without any, any um, uh, additional filters, it would be like this, right? Uh, just, uh, you know, Everything drawer, the custom sort of, sort of normal drawer, the paragraph of the first um, level, and, and then head, heading of the second level, uh, the paragraph within the second level, and heading of the third level, and then also the um, paragraph, right? So that's just a normal one. And if I then, um, let's say, add uh, only contents. So it's kind of obvious what it might do, right? Uh, if I include it. So all of the contents uh, except for the um, headings, right? So you just remove all the headings and then get the paragraph, 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 and also the um, drawer on the top level. So that's uh, that's only contents. And I believe you might want to kind of, okay, so in this case, I might want to remove, you know, uh, remove or not include or not transclude the drawer in this case. As an example, that's probably a natural um, requirement. In that case, what you can do is add exclu exclude element, uh, additional filter, right, I'm sorry. And in this case, I just need to have a uh, double quotation marks and then add a um, uh, org element, in this case, drawer. And then if I include it, yeah, so I, you know, I, I'm removing, I'm getting only the contents and then excluded this uh, drawer, only the three paragraphs are now transcluded, right? So that's uh, uh, basically, you know, how it 
works. Um, and you can sort of, you know, play with what you want to do. So, for instance, in this case, you can also still, um, maybe it doesn't work. Uh, sorry, you can add a level, but obviously, you know, uh, when you don't have heading ex headings with the only contents, it doesn't have any functional meaning to it, right? Because there's no level. Uh, but you can still try to remove only contents and then, you know, try to try to see what the best uh, way to include all this. So if I change it to level four, I can still change it like this. Yeah, right. Um, so as you can see, it's very um, uh, easy to change what to transclude on the fly. So if I remove, uh, okay, so I can also remove headline. So if I do, if I include um, headline, org element as part of the exclude elements, right? Um, it will look at the top level. It will include just a top level uh, headline and then exclude the sub headlines. That's, uh, I think that's intuitive enough. And then obviously you can have multiple exclusion like this, right? So I just excluded the drawer. So uh, I believe th this this is quite powerful, I, I think. Um, and um, what it does is um, this exclude elements property is a fine tuning of the default uh, customizing variable, customizable variable org transclusion exclude elements. And by default, you have property drawer exclu excluded. So what this uh, exclude elements uh, property does is add headline and drawer to this list. So there will be three um, elements to be excluded for this particular uh, transclusion keyword. And then that's how, how I set it up. Okay, uh, that's probably it here. And then as you can see, you can sort of combine uh, only contents with exclude elements just to fine tune what you want to Transclude from the source, yeah, like, like this. All right, so that's the additional features. Moving on to the last section. So um, this is uh, something new. I, I think there's an issue, and then I I I, uh, I try to fix the issue, even though this is actually additional sort of functionality. What what it does is that um, in the uh, current um, in the previous version, I should say, sorry. Um, the first section, right, uh, what is, is special. And the first section is everything and anything before the first headline. And I'll just let, let me open this one. So in this case, in this um, um, org buffer, uh, the first headline is this metaphysics headline level four. And everything before this is called the first section. And uh, by default, this um, org transclusion include the first section customizing variable is nil, meaning that uh, org transclusion will ignore uh, first the first section, right? So if I transclude this, all you see, oh, oh okay, uh, it wasn't, Okay, some, okay, oh yeah, I think, um, yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, metaphysics, so, sorry. Um, yeah, only the metaphysics um, subtree now is transcluded. So if I want to include the first section, I need to change this, uh, or set this customizing variable to T. So let me just do that, right? And then if I transclude this, right, now, um, as you can see, everything in the first section has been transcluded together with the subheadline, right? So that's the customizing variable. Um, the issue in the previous release is that um, if I do that, this level uh, property didn't have any influence on the transcluded um, headlines. So now that's been fixed. So if I, I mean, probably you saw it. I mean, original was level four um, subtree, and I set it to level one, 
transcluding also the first section and then if I do this right so the level property worked for the um, subtree so it's now level level one subtree and then if I change it to let's say level two oh sorry I can't do more than ten right level two Right, and it doesn't affect the first section itself because, it, I mean, even though it's considered to be level zero, uh, I didn't want to add any sort of headline um, he heading here. So it will affect only the subtrees, but uh, this is how it works at the moment. And also, uh, just to you know, recap, uh, recap the previous section, uh, I was talking about excluding elements, right? Um, you probably want to also exclude the uh, metadata uh, represented by this keyword, defined by the keyword. In that case, what you can also do uh, is just uh, add exclude elements, uh, sorry, and then double quotation mark, uh, keyword, and draw, I think. And if, you, if I do this, right, so this uh, drawer plus the metadata, the keywords have been um, excluded from right from the uh, transclusion and if I also want to remove the headings I can do so by uh, only contents right. same way so you can combine many different things and then uh, transclude different parts in your own way okay I think that's it for today's demonstration let me just go back and then summarize what we have seen so the agenda today, let me just translate this, right. So uh, the first one was breaking changes, uh, new command names. And the second breaking change was uh, T and L no longer required, but uh, it's kind of backward compatibility. So there should be no major uh, changes on your side, but just adjust, try and adjust uh, uh, your key bindings, maybe some of the customizing using T and L. And the second thing was uh, new features, um, particularly uh, only contents and exclude elements, um, additional filters, and also the level property works for when you have first section included. Okay, so that's it from today. Thank you very much for listening and um, talk to you later. Bye.